Hey guys, it's Mike McFly, uh, driving to Gainesville, Florida. Uh, once again, going to the University of Florida, uh, meeting my friend Frankie Terranova. For anybody who's been, uh, you know, skating in the, in the southeast, uh, they might have heard of a competition series called Blades Giving, and uh, that's kind of like where he put his, uh, his, you know, put his mark on rollerblading. I guess you could say. Uh, Frankie also made a really cool video called Feel Good Feel that has a uh, really crazy profile by Eric Michael. Uh, you know, Frankie is the guy that, uh, you know, held the whole Florida scene together in the darkest of, like, the blading days whenever any given, you know, city would have, like, two to three bladers tops. Um, you know, he would organize these meetups and people would come from all over the state and uh, skate together. You know, he organized competitions. Uh, you know, the guy's amazing. And, uh, you know, getting to know him back then on uh, Facebook and stuff, uh, we found out that him and I were actually born on the exact same day, uh, June 27th, 1984. Uh, so, um, you know, we kind of have a connection there. And uh, anybody who's known me for any, you know, period of time knows that I, I actually eat pizza like seven days a week for almost every meal my whole life. And uh, it's funny because Frankie is Italian and uh, his, his family has like, a pizzeria, you know, an Italian restaurant. Uh, so, you know, also we're both like obsessed with Back to the Future franchise and, um, you know, we both love Star Wars. So it's just weird, uh, you know, and, and, you know, rollerblading in itself is a rare thing to be into. So we've got all this stuff in common, but, you know, we live a couple hours away from each other. So, um, you know, we don't get up that often and uh, he's making the trek all the way from, you know, the Daytona Beach area to Gainesville to uh, bomb some hills with me today. We're going to be doing some, uh, you know, fitness skating, recreational skating, you know, call it what you, what you will. Uh, so that's what we're doing today. Going to meet him, really excited. And, uh, you know, you'll see, see some cool clips of us just bombing around. Majestic 12 is reimagined. Yeah, yeah. Look at those 2013 V13s. Frankie's uh, big wheel setup. We got my buddy Frankie here. I did, did a little intro, you know, described uh, how you held the whole waiting scene together in the southeast, basically uh, for for like five years, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Before uh, you know, here let me flip the camera. Before um, before Blade, you you know, Blade YouTubers popped up really uh, at all. Frankie had the Central Florida Rolling um, YouTube channel, and uh, he was uploading like. I mean, you couldn't even upload in 4K, but it damn sure looked like 4K, uh, like high quality videos filmed with um, really good cameras, edited really well. And, uh, you know, it, I think the channel's still up, everything's still up, you know, so cent look up Central Florida Rolling on YouTube and uh, subscribe and, uh, you know, bug him with a bunch of comments. Maybe he'll upload some more stuff. Yeah, we got the John Fromms here, you know, um, John Fromm is a very close friend of Frankie, so he had to, had to spend the uh, spend the money on the adapts, but they're feeling pretty tight, as in too tight. But we'll have yeah, to trust adapts. Some um, sizing heat, I heat system. I heat molded them, so hopefully they're. Uh, yeah, you can probably make they them stretch out a little bit. Yeah, I think I think you'll be able to make them fit. Let me see how how light they are. Not as light as you'd think, but still pretty light. Yeah. Like, I love these frames, dude. These Kaisers are like the best, best anti-rocker frame out there. This is crazy, you know, cause I'm talking to Frankie and he's like, oh yeah, I got the John Fromms, I got the Tim Frankens. And I'm remembering, you know, I, I'm not gonna say before anybody knew who Tim Franken was, uh, you know, Frankie introduced me to him and his skating and, you know, put him in his video and, um, you know, and so yeah, he's got the pro skates of just of the pro friends, you know, and, uh, you know, also got the, uh, the sick like re original release 908 it's pretty minty and you get the uh, eric michaels when they come out yeah 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 I, yeah i'm definitely gonna get those there's just supposed to be plastic boot so power bladers i didn't rollerblade for 20 plus years just a power blade twin cam ilq9 bearings they're like the fastest metal bearings tried it before didn't get hurt but 
didn't land it either. Yeah, so uh, we're outside the O'Connell Center, and I always tell this story, but I'm telling Frankie because he wasn't here, and maybe maybe I haven't told it on the channel. But um, Eric Michael actually um, skated down here, and it, this looks uh, a lot more intimidating in person, but he dropped down to a sweaty on this rail, grinded all the way around, jumped off, and landed out in the parking lot, like probably landed fakie. And it's a huge jump. It's like, you know, I don't know, 11 feet, 10 feet. So pretty cool. All clear. Uh-huh, yep. Yeah. Oh shit. All right guys, so just did that intense grass ride. Uh, it didn't look that crazy on camera, but trust me, that thing was huge. Uh, I guess my legs aren't as strong as they used to be because I, uh, I felt like I had a lot of trouble keeping them stable on the uneven terrain. Uh, but you know, hey, getting a little, almost getting old. Uh, so, you know, trying to trying to stop from aging. But uh, anyway, at least I landed it. I didn't know how that dirt was gonna was gonna uh, roll at the end. I thought I had like a 50% chance of just digging in and eating shit going like 25 miles an hour, but uh, I got lucky, so. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's one of my craziest ledge rolls I've ever done. Got Frankie uh, standing at the top, just scoping it out. Yeah, stand on the very edge on that one, yeah. Yeah, just on the very edge. Don't don't go don't drop in. If you start to just jump in the grass and you'll stop. It's pretty gnarly. Alright, so the steepest hill on campus is uh under construction. So Frankie and I are gonna bomb the second steepest hill on campus to finish out our uh, power blading session. <laughs> Shout out David Sizemore. He did this, uh, probably the biggest rail at the University of Florida uh, back in back in like mid 2000s. His uh, buddy Mike Fontenelle, friend of ours, uh, is making a video called Rollerblading Is, and 
he, uh, he did this rail, so shout out, David. Uh, well, Frankie and I uh, skated our, our butts off. Uh, we kind of sweat to death and uh, we died and were reborn. Uh, you know, we're both turning 39 in a few weeks and uh, not gonna say I'm old yet. I know Frankie's not old yet, but uh, just feeling it with this, this Florida heat. So uh, anyway, um, had a really fun session with Frankie today and uh, you guys look forward to some aggressive content soon. And have a good one, see you later.